Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix Online Meeting 187, end of April. We're on ourselves into May. Uh, we have Jacob here. We were just talking about music and theme songs for the Wix Toolset meeting, and uh, <laughs> we've been having a good time with it. Uh, Crystal, Crystal Method uh, featured heavily. All right. Uh, we just got triaged today. As always, these meetings are being recorded for those of you that uh, missed out on all the fun stuff before we started recording and often the things we talk about afterwards. Anyway, good times. We'll do triage. We'll answer any questions that are going on out there, and then we'll call it a day. I don't know that we have a lot because I think the issues will go quick, but let's go see if my guess is right. Bob, you ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. Wix Project Incompatible Visual Studio 2019. Um, no updates since last ask. Yeah, we gave it one more round, or are we done? No. No, nope, you're done. More, it's it's been two weeks. I'm I'm comfortable that. Yeah, we ask for more info. A yeah. week, okay, but two. I don't think they're coming back. So. All right. And there's cool. nothing else we can do. And I'm just now uploading Visual Studio, so we'll see how 16.5 treats me, because it's been <laughs> 14 days. Anyway, um, support for Retina. I think that's supposed to be Retina. Probably. Oh, that's okay. Retina. Ooh, still Retina. Okay. Um, retina. Retina, probably? Retina? I don't know. Um, retina. I think it's your Retina. Anyway, uh, there's got to be an issue open on this already, right? Yeah, I went looking. We have some kind of – actually, I guess we we do have a good one. We yeah. we have a good dupe to match yeah. against. Bugs me when people delete our template and decide that they're better at it. Um, this, too, Windows service holds multiple processes, the file and use dialog. Please yeah, this add is – a property in the Wix tool set to disable it. I'm like, uh – The Windows installer is the runtime. It's in charge. Yeah. I found the, the right topic to link to. Great. In the MSI SDK. So, I so this is a support question, and it can go away. Um, yep. Do, 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 do. Property for disable. Uh, Wix standard BA hangs with display internals. Uh, did you bring this back, Sean? It was new. Oh, it is new. Feels. Well, oh. It's, it's kind of a regression in the previous fix. But, yeah. It, basically, it was hanging in some cases. And you're working on a fix for it then? Um, I already sent the pull request and everything. So. Yeah, okay. So we should take this in four and burn and move along with it, I think. Yeah. Well, you have a, a pull request for three as well, right? Well, does it hang in three too? Yeah. The partial fix was in three as well. I see. Okay. Um. How scary is it to put... Oh, that's what this is in three. I see. So I can read. What are we looking at? Uh, okay. Find the package. Set its execute rollback states. Showing internal. Ugh. What are we doing? Okay. Updating. And this prevents multiple burn calls from getting in here. Is that the problem? I see. Is that the root of the issue? So I, that pull request has two different bug fixes. So the issue we're looking at right now is the decision of whether to display internal UI is per package, not based on the bundle action. So for the issue we are looking at, uh, it doesn't have any of this critical section stuff. It just, during plan, standard BA needed to look at which action was going to be taken on the package. And then during execute, it needed to go look at that action that was picked during plan and then use that as the to figure out whether it was showing internal UI or not. Because previously it was looking at the overall bundle action 
to see whether it's showing internal UL. Oh. And we have different UI levels based on the action. Right. All right. And then the second bug that I fixed in the pull request was there was a issue with uh, when you're displaying internal UI, normally, as long as MSI is showing a dialogue, then it has control. Like, you know, it's showing it as a dialogue, so you can't interact with the BA UI while the MSI dialogue is up. Right. However, there are times where MSI is running but does not have a dialogue. So there's race conditions where if you hit the cancel before, like right before MSI is going to pop up a dialogue, then previously Wix standard BA would try to pop up a message box confirming that you want to cancel. Mm -hmm which ends up doing the same hang that these other situations were doing. Interesting. So that's why you wouldn't see it all the time. Yeah, that makes sense that these things would be problematic. So the, that fix is a little more complicated and I guess technically risky since we're adding in critical sections, but I think it's fairly straightforward, though. Well, we're not going to deadlock any worse than we were before, right? I don't think so, no. <laughs> so, but, I mean, theoretically, if I put the critical sections in the wrong place, we could deadlock. Right, right, but they're right where the UI is at, so... don't know what else you would do there. Yeah. Um, your call, Sean. You know these this situation's better and if you want it in three fourteen. I don't really care. I was gonna see whether someone responded to my message on Wix users. Mm hmm And uh, nobody did. I sent a message on Wix users saying, yeah, I created an issue for this. I fixed it. If you're interested in seeing 3.14, then you should go make your uh, desires known. Make some noise, huh? And no one, no one responded, so. All right, let's let it sit for a little bit longer. And maybe bump that email message again, making it clear that, well, if there's really no interest, then we'll just uh, take the fix in four and keep going. Okay. And just in case people are missing it. Yeah, displaying an internal UI is just kind of, it needs much more love. Um, or an X. Well, yeah. I, yeah. Applied lovingly. I know what you're saying. Well, that, that's actually the thing I'd like to work on next. Yeah, I, I feel like we had a decent compromise um, from that design before, so... Um, anyway, I think where we're going is it's right. All right, custom table with multiple primary keys. Again, no template. I think we need a lot more information here. This surprises me. Yeah, I, I, the statement is incorrect. I've done work recently with custom tables, and they have multiple primary keys, and they work. All right. But oh, does not talk about a merge either. log. Well, oh well, then yeah. yeah, this isn't us. This is the merge module and them not getting along. Well, I'm, and Complus is not a custom table, which was also confusing. Yeah, no, the merge module is probably wrong. <laughs> and yeah, okay. And it's you know the funny thing is probably the table's empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, surprising yeah, yeah. either. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is not. This is not our bug. This is probably bugs in the merge modules. So yeah, I agree. Let's kick them to support and keep let them go sort out from there. Okay. 
Um, choose which dial. What is this, this people? This is the same thing. Uh, I'll cut and paste the same response. Is this the same person? No. No. It's just happening more because of the API stuff. And I mean, I see this too, and I've been. Yeah, it's just frustrating that files in use isn't going to get fixed to handle this scenario better. But yeah. Oh well. All right. Burn is failing to detect WoW on ARM 64. So I saw that you took the change. Oh. It's also 6161. Yes. So you took the fix for uh, this. I'll just pull it up since this is all done. Uh, a issue with ARM 64 burn in ARM64, and so and this is another issue with ARM64, which doesn't completely surprise me. Fascinating that there's a new API that has to be called, but that doesn't surprise me either to be able to fix this bug. A new, yeah, a new Windows API, that is, uh, to fix this. So uh, I think we should hold this. Nicholas pretty good, usually about following up when he says he's going to. Mm -hmm. um, so I assume you haven't seen this yet. Otherwise, it would be resolved. Right. No, he sent the, the pull request for 6161. Okay. I looked at it. It's trivial, so I took it. Yep. Um, 6162 is still pending. Um, but yes, last I heard from him, he had the change. Uh, just not ready with the pull request quite yet. Yep, that's fine. Um, again, new architecture. It doesn't surprise me that we're going to have these things about um so yay i'm glad they're fixing it yeah um, which is great nicola's good about that though so that's good um so i think the the uh, jumping to the chase if that's an expression i think that's an expression right anyway um the we're taking arm 64 fixes in 314 so i think we'll hold the build for this fix to come in since I expect Nicola is going to get it in the next week or two, um, which also then gives us time to hold and wait for this display eternal UI change. And we have one more change that's already queued up for 314. So how about we use this ARM64 as the kicker for another build when that comes in um, and then at the next meeting we will then do a build. Yeah, um, sounds good. Assuming it all comes in as, as – um, we expect it to, given the players that are on the field. Um, At which Sean, point it would be the it would be Sean's uh, display internal UI issue, right. if if the if Nicholas sends sixty one sixty two sooner, we want to give a week or so for for the display internal UI issue, correct? Yes, so that's exactly okay. what I was going to. Thank you, Bob. Oh. Segwaying right into, um, I can almost hit this down, I, which leads me to Sean. I think we'll be back in two weeks, and then you can make the call on that. Um, 6158, this one right here. Okay. Um, whatever we want to do. So it gives us two more weeks. We're going to kind of wait for that anyway. And then we'll do a build like, you know, the May 15th or something like that. That's the I of May? I don't know. It doesn't quite work, does it? Um, all right, cool. We will roll that direction then. I think we're done with triage. Anything else people want to talk about? Um, another build coming out in about two weeks with a couple more ARM 64 fixes and other minor things that were in there. Um, progress is being made around in various places on various things. Um, nothing concrete yet enough to discuss, but we're getting close, I think. Um, that's okay. all I have. Have you looked at the display internal UI discussion that we had a few weeks ago? Like, I guess, were you actually paying attention or were you just like skimming it? I I have been skimming. Display internal UI uh, V4 conversation? Yeah. The new design that we've been talking about? Or something else? Yeah, yeah the new design. Because I... Yeah. Kind of like to pick that up soon. You did a, a whip for that, didn't you? I don't think so. Okay. 
sorry, then what discussion are you talking about? Just like us? I guess I saw like one sentence responses, so I wasn't sure whether. Oh, work staff. Just don't. Yeah, work staff. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of curious whether it's just something you don't really care about or something you just haven't really no, looked into. Number three is what I recall from what we discussed a long time ago, or at least it aligned with what we discussed a long time ago. And so it sounded like you were like, yeah, I want to go that direction, which I also remember being the harder solution of all of them. And I was like, yeah, that sounds right to me. If that's if you're willing to go down that road, then yeah, it's, that's the one that fixes almost all the issues, right? At least mitigates the worst cases. Yeah. Or or allows us to write UIs that can avoid the bad cases, right? That, isn't that what the end happens, is that we add some properties to the built-in UI to, so that they behave correctly when launched from burn? Well, I guess that's kind of the question. Like, that would be more of a a standard BA thing, right? Like for number three, I was thinking like just launch the MSI as it is. Like the BA is not gonna try to uh, change how the user decides what to do. No, but I thought, right, right, but I thought we were also going to add a property from burn to MSI to say, by the way, you're running in this mode so that we could disable repair or whatever the UI options were um, to flow through the display internal UI. Uh, so that a UI, how to say this, a UI, an MSI UI could be written to be aware that it runs in burn and turn off functionality to prevent the MSI from, you know, prevent their UI and their MSI from doing wrong things uh, in burn, for example, when Burns saying doing uninstall, don't have the MSI do an uninstall or something like that. Yeah. Well, so I guess the biggest issue is is that there there's a single entry point when the package is already installed. It's maintenance mode, right? So you get the you get your typical three choices, one of which we already disable when it doesn't apply. That leaves uninstall and repair, um, but ideally it would you know disable everything, every option that wasn't appropriate based on the, the bundle. Um, right. the, the other thing, the other problem is that people want this because they want to do something special and special in uninstall. So they force users through a UI sequence. Um, obviously we can't do anything about that, but if we provide the special properties, then we can say, yes, but you need to do X, Y, and Z. Right based on this property. So instead of saying display internal UI doesn't work, we would say you have to do this extra work uh, to make it work properly inside Burn. So you can be successful, you have to do work to be successful um, if you want to do this. Well, it's, uh, it's if you want to do this during, during uh, anything other than install. Right now, install will show the MSI UI, any other action will not. And what we talked about is we, if we do the special property, then we can relax that rule right. and right, say, right. go ahead. If you want, you know, for some reason you want to show UI during uninstall, which you, you know, already shouldn't have been doing, you know, going back to Windows 2000, um, you can do it, but it would require the special properties or we end up in the state that we avoided by not showing UI. Right. So. I would say if we don't do the property, then we shouldn't, you know, we should still stick to whatever UI mode we set. Yeah, and I thought the property would be straightforward and could help I people. Guess it was kind of an open question whether Burn would be setting those properties or whether the BA would be setting those properties. I think Burn is. And I also thought that based on what you guys kept on saying, I wasn't sure whether you guys even wanted standard BA to support display internal UI anymore. If it's not Wix standard BA, it'd have to be a new BA. I, I, I yeah. I'm fine with Wix standard BA. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm well, fine with that being the, the default BA. 
Well, I don't, I mean, I don't, I was thinking of doing this third BA or second, you know, another BA okay. that will allow showing UI of an MSI, but it, it's going to be like, I'm thinking of making it just require that it only has one MSI, uh -huh. like not going to support multiple. I, okay. You want to do like the, the bootstrapping prereq type thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so it, it's more things for us to maintain. That's the only concern I have of more BAs running around. So it, that, you know, we, <laughs> we can do it. We certainly can do it. Just not anything about the cost of maintaining it with Wix standard BA. Not that maintaining Wix standard BA is fantastic when it keeps having all of these extra modes in it. Um, that doesn't make it easy to maintain either. But, yeah, that that would kind of be my pivot there. So and it, it's uh, somewhere in that in, in the balance in there um, of what's the best way to solve the problem. And I, I'd, right now, I don't have a good feel for which way to go about doing that. To me, I think the engine should set the property because engine is handling the display internal UI, and for display internal UI to be handled properly, then um, it should be set by burns so that burns can be so that no matter what BA you have, right, burn is doing what it should be doing for the MSI, right? You don't have to do something special in your MSI to make a burn display UI internal UI feature work properly. That's my my mental model for the property being set. Yeah, I'm 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 leaning more toward the BA should be responsible for it. The where I thought we got to with the design of the new display internal UI was that it essentially oh. the engine was agnostic. Yeah. It yeah. just provided the interface so that a BA could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you say that I I remembered that part. Um yes, fine. If we offload the whole I guess that's the Yeah, if we offload the whole thing, fine. If it would be good to get that split clean, right? Wherever it lives. Yeah. That's so I mean the motivation when we first started talking about this was, hey, we can get the engine clean as, by not supporting display internal UI as an engine feature and keeping everything in a BA because, because primarily because um, Wix standard BA does not do a great job with it. I don't know that what, Sean, I don't know what you're talking about is, is going to be like, you know, I don't know, rah, rah. The end all, be all, end all of of, um, of of display internal UI BA. But the idea of of moving it all out of the engine and making the BA do it is that if someone wanted to do, you know, uh, the ultimate display internal UI BA, they could. It wouldn't require engine changes. Um, right. I'm I'm all for that too. Either either one of those two edges. Um, now that you mentioned that, I do remember the idea of getting display internal UI out of the engine and into the BA. And if that's possible, and I haven't been in that part of the code for a long time, but if that's possible, then that's fantastic. Pull it all out, let the BA do it, and uh, burn can not have to deal with the craziness that is display internal UI at all. I obviously fixated on the property as the thing to fix display or turn UI and um, didn't remember all these other parts of it, but I'm glad you guys do. Okay. I'll uh, write up the whip. Yep. Awesome. Anything else? Stuff going on? It's been a busy couple weeks here. Homeschooling is a a bit of a thing. <laughs> it takes more work, um, more time. I mean, of course it takes time, but it just takes more time than I think I even thought it would. I, uh, it's not the time. It's the interruptions. That's where I'm struggling. So, um, Picture being a teacher. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, it's been, honestly, I've been more like IT support for teachers because <laughs> the teachers are have been slowly coming online, and the kids are now like doing schooling remote. But there is large gaps of IT support 
for the whole system. So you get teachers that need help, you get students that need help, and then they all kind of get together and get very confused. Um, and then you have in this area a lot of Microsoft people, it turns out. So you get various pockets of um, technical help around, but they're not coordinated. And you, we all know how well that goes when you get a whole bunch of technical solutions not coordinated around a thing that is not well understood or planned, because all this has been kind of thrown in the air at the last minute, because nobody planned for the virus um, and for all this offline learning stuff. So it's just been like a lot of random stuff that you're like, yeah, this. if we would have project planned this from the top, kind of knew what we wanted and laid it out for all the different teachers so that they could be educated and all that kind of stuff, that would have been great. Of course, not possible. Anyway, given all the other problems that one could have um, uh, if in the world, I will take the distractions of homeschooling kids over all the other things. So may everybody stay safe. Um, and uh, we will be back in two weeks. I expect everything will be the same. Um, we will have probably a build that following Friday, I'm expecting, and hopefully, depending on how the next couple of weeks go and what interruptions um, my IT support duties require, <laughs> we may have more Wix 4 work done um, on top of or in addition to the awesome work that Sean continues to do plying around through various burn-related things, which is fantastic. I don't have anything else. Do you guys got anything else? Nothing for me. Mm -hmm. no. All right. Two weeks, we'll be back here. This time slot seems to be working for the world. Um, I'm glad about that. We'll hold on to it for a little while longer. And uh, we'll see you guys then. So until then, stay safe, stay distant, uh, uh, stay healthy, and we'll be back in two weeks. Bye. Bye. Bye.